Hi there and welcome back to Titan Quest. I'm Baron and this is a black screen. Oh, not anymore. We are in the city of Memphis. Looking for Elvis. No. Good day. Good day. How about we merge those two? We need hey put it in here for fuck's sake. Uh, we need no, um, essence of sets betrayal and a lupine claw. It's a lupine claw, but it's not completed yet. And sets betrayal this one. Okay. That's better. Ah, but we lose the plus fifty percent attack speed. That's better. Shit. One hundred twenty-six to one hundred thirty-one. Because of the poison damage. What is that here? That's not as good. Not as good. Not as good. Not as good. Twenty five percent lightning resistance. Okay, we can sell the rest apparently. So that is a little bit better apparently than this one. Bye bye. Alrighty, Memphis Plaza. Who are you? Shihator, the storyteller. Now, Set and Osiris were brothers, children of Nut and Geb, oh, cooling sky their heels here. and earth. By destiny, Osiris was the first pharaoh, and he ruled over the land with Isis, his queen. He taught us to farm the land. To build and bake, to count and record. But Set was jealous of his brother, and he devised a plan. Set built a beautiful box of cedar, and told Osiris that whoever fit inside could have the box. Osiris, trusting his brother, lay down inside. Wicked Set quickly closed Osiris the box was and stupid. nailed it, then threw it in the Nile. But when Isis retrieved the box, Set grew angry. He found it and tore it open and cut his brother into thirteen pieces, throwing them into and the Osiris Nile. didn't fight back? Isis again went out. She searched and searched, but found only twelve. She then took wax and with magic formed the thirteenth part. In secret, hidden from Set's eyes, she performed the rites and ceremonies so that Osiris could properly enter the land of the dead, where ever since he has reigned. And just like Osiris, the first pharaoh, do all our pharaohs go to death? And Seth was left behind to rule upon rule the earth, or what? That's a stupid story. Osiris is stupid. I mean, hey, he fell for all this trap in the book. Well, look, a mighty warrior from foreign lands. I'm sure you will find just what you are looking for. It's much more expensive. It doesn't do much difference. I mean, 126, 131. It's 5. And it doesn't have any positive effects. This has leech life and... Uh, attack damage converted to health and shit, so I'm, I will keep that. Do we have anything nice? Always welcome. What's up? Who are you? Oh, it's Hazmak. I am Zazamank, the High Priest of Memphis. Second in power to Pharaoh himself. The truth is, times are difficult. 
You see, what with the monsters and Pharaoh in hiding, many are beginning to doubt the priest's power. What do you want me to do about that? You sound evil, too. If our authority is not respected, there is no order. If there is no order, people will panic. There will be chaos and the monsters will take the city. Everything ruined. We have magic, but not enough to stop the monsters. Without authority, Memphis is lost. Egypt is lost. What do you want me to do then? Some troublemakers have started demanding that we show the power they believe we have. If you care to help, there is a staff of legendary power. I would pay dearly for it. With it, we could preserve order in Memphis. We could lead. We'd have a chance. See? Oh, now he finally comes around. He wants a trinket. A fetch quest. Uh, the high priest of Memphis says he needs the stuff of Khufu. Oh, well. That was the one of the per pharaohs who built a pyramid. In order to restore his authority and prevent panic and chaos in Memphis. Retrieve the star from the pharaoh's sarcophagus beneath the pyramid and bring it to the high priest Tessamank. Another quest. A fetch quest. Awesome. Sometimes it is hard to remember the old life. When I do, it is as a sweet dream. That life, the life of a priest, was a good one. Yeah, I know. You didn't have to work and got lots of money and food and stuff. Oh, there's Imhotep again. Let's slay him! Oh shit, we can't. Ah, I am relieved to see you. Things have not gone well. Uh, we were horribly unprepared to battle a powerful Telkin. No one has seen one since the war between the Titans and the gods. But now, they seem to be everywhere. It is more important than ever that we proceed with the invocation ceremony. Only the gods can protect us. Thank you for retrieving the scroll of invocation. And now, let me see. To complete the ritual of invocation, we must first collect the Eye of Chaos and the Hand of Balance. The Eye is That's rumored quest. to be somewhere beyond the Fayum Oasis. I believe the Hand of Balance is in Giza. Recover these artifacts and bring them to me. Only then can we summon the gods. Uh, but be on your guard. In these times, peril lurks at every turn. Great. So if this is Imhotep, I wonder where Anxuna Moon is. She would be much more pleasing on the eye. Here's one. You there. How about the job in the Pharaoh's army? No, of course not. Nobody wants this job, not these days. I'm not good at following orders. What have you got? Nothing. Wait, what's that? Um, a spirit ring. Nobody needs that. I don't have time for idle chit chat. I'm too busy. I suppose you'll want something that's sold out. Shit, that's bad. Plus lightning damage. Not good enough. Ah, no. That is good. Oh, wow, wow, wow. That's something. 39, 56. But we would lose the stun resistance. Nah. What do you have potion wise? Health potions. Okay. We already have lots of those. Bye then. Bye bye. Anything else to get here? 
Down there? No. Up here? No. And we can go into this direction apparently. What's that? Two rebirth fountains. Really? The gate of the Sphinx. And the gate of the palm. Let's go to the Sphinx first. Nah. Palm. Doesn't make a difference probably. Artisan's Quarter. Oh, here we have a rebirth fountain. Let's take a look around. Scorpions. The dead. Wait, wait, wait. Before we leave. What's here? Nothing. This is just awesome. Okay. Not much to get here. Desert waste. No shit. The desert is waste? The wasted desert? Or is it a dessert? No, it's just Oh hi, you're big. Scorpus manslayer. Well, not big enough apparently. What's in the bone pile? Fire beetle. You can't cast that yet. Nobody likes fire beetles. Hey, you're not wor working. You should be attacking those things, not just standing there looking pretty. You didn't even drop anything. I'm disappointed. Ooh, that's a big one. Magma beetle. And they're dead. Move it. Don't leg it. Surprise! Now you see me, now you're dead. Hey, wait, you're not dead yet. They don't seem to drop anything. What's in here? Bone scarab. Oh, those remind me of the mummy. Maybe we can find Axana Moon in here. What's that? Shrine of Mastery. Yeah, hell, use it. I mean, she was of questionable character, but she was pretty. Those mummy movies are really... I really like them. Even the Imhotep, the monster, the the bad guy. I mean, everything he does, it... I fuck. Concentrate. There was poison. I should have turned the sound a little bit higher. Increased the volume so I can hear the traps better. I mean, yeah, Imhotep... He was evil and stuff, but everything he did, he did out of love. Fox in the moon. I guess that makes him an okay Joe in my book. There's this great ending of the second movie. If I, it's been a while since I saw it, but I think both um, the good guy and um, him would have are, you know, just hanging somewhere uh, on, you know, the. 
are about to fall into a hole or something into the abyss they are barely hanging there trying to climb their way up and uh, the good guy Brandon Fraser he he gets help I think that the ceiling is crumbling down or something uh, but Rachel Wise actually the, the character she, she's playing the librarian girl she risks her life to help her loved one and Imhotep calls out to Aksuna Moon Oh, the re in you know she she got reincarnated and stuff, and he calls out to her to help him. And while Rachel Weisz's character risks her life to help the man she loves, what the fuck's going on here? Angsana Moon does not; she flees. And then Imhotep sees that she doesn't love him as. What is that? Who is casting here? Oh, you. He sees that Aksuna Moon doesn't love him the way he loves her, and then he lets go and falls into the abyss. That's great. You're barely visible, man. What is that? The Lupin Claw? Yeah, we need more of that stuff to get our... Wait a sec. We get another one. Arcane Formula, Song of the Serpent. We need an essence of Udyat of Horus, a rigged compass and the soul of elemental shielding. And that would get us the Song of the Serpent. Plus 6% poison damage, 14 armor, 18% pierce resistance, 25% poison resistance, and 15% chance of 30 Poison retaliation over three seconds. If we can't assemble the things, oh, that's a trap! Get the fuck away! Yeah, it's better when I can actually hear the sound. It was too low in the beginning. Oh, we're almost at the next level! Yay! Boom! You're dead. I hate those traps. And I hate the scarabs. <laughs> Assassins. <laughs> Boom! Assassinate that. More traps. This is annoying. Okay. Level up, baby. Um, so... Um, Three more points to spend. We what did we do? It's been a while since I played that. We maxed out shield charge and disruption. Now we climb up here. And now we put one point into the Colossus. Thank you. And that we put in here. Oh yeah, what does the Colossus do? Um, assume the form of a towering colossus and lay waste to your enemies. I like the, I like the laying waste part. Uh, 10 active energy cost per second, 24 seconds uh, duration, 30% damage absorption, plus 50% damage, plus 30% strength, plus 30% health, minus 15% total speed. The next level would be 32% uh, damage absorption, plus 32% strength, plus 32 health. So it doesn't last longer, it only lasts 24 seconds. But of course you can absorb more damage and you do more damage, which is a good thing to I think to max that. Uh, but pulverize is also nice to have. Oh well, we shall see. So um what do we do now? 158, 110. Hmm. Let's put one in here and... What do we need here? Oh, intelligence. We are not too bright, actually. Okay. But, Eudorus is a warrior. He doesn't need that much of intelligence, he just needs to know, you know, <laughs> which part of the saw to stick into the enemy. If he can figure that out, he's good to go. <laughs> Come on, move it. Um, that's the Colossus. 
Awesome. He's a little slower and he doesn't fit through doors now. It can be a bother. And the cooldown is annoyingly long. You can't cast that yet. Apparently I can't uh, do a shield charge in Colossus form. Um, it's still... how long? It's still recharging, it doesn't tell me how long it takes. No. So yeah, it's not a skill you use in every battle, but... Uh, it's very useful for boss fights and stuff. What do we have here? Regeneration Shrine. I guess you can't beat me when I'm standing next to the shrine because I regenerate health faster than you. Take it away. <laughs> Hi. A slavering hyena beast. Oh, it's slavering. Oh, hi. Scorpus. A whole bunch of them. BOOM! Shield charge still rules the day. Venom sack. Take it. But oh, it's still recharging. Yeah, damn, that takes forever. Boom. Well, the shield charge doesn't take forever to recharge. Um, that's where we came from? Yeah, what's in the middle here? More scorpions. Who would have thought? Wait, I didn't hit you? Boom, you're dead. How oh, come? Shouldn't have messed with Eudorus. Need more energy. No shit, really? Good thing I have those potions then. <laughs> Alrighty. What else? Oh, there was a bunch of them. Ha! <laughs> this is just great. Okay, looks like we got it. No, not yet. A sand wiper. I overlooked the sand wiper. And another rebirth fountain. But it, I think it's too early to finish the video yet. A magma beetle. That's a big one. Anything nice? No? Oh, hi. Oh, 
Oh come on, the Colossus is still recharging. <laughs> I, I guess I can only uh, pull off one in a in the LP video. <laughs> That's not much though. Good thing I have shield charge. Did we get it? Yep, we got it. A jackal man. Long time no see. Nobody likes spellcasters. Boom. What the fuck? There was a fly annoying me. Hold on for a second. No, it's gone. Okay. So, what do we have? Nothing to get here. This is the Subek Plateau, just in case you were wondering. Deceased vultures, really? Not really. Moving on. Nothing. What's that then? Oh, just regular stuff. That never gets old. Oh, you're not dead yet, Desert Witch. Wow! That skill is not ready. An ant lion. That's a big one. Reminds me of um, Half Life too. Okay, no, 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 I don't want to go there yet. Come on, pick it up. Pick it up. Hey, take a look at that. My Colossus has recharged. <laughs> Alright. Well, there's a way. There are skills that help us to um, lower the cooldown time. Don't fall into that. Did we get it all? Yeah, pretty much. Oh yeah, we should should get things a little bit better. What is that here? Not as good. We should get things organized a bit.
Okay. Okay, so we will take a break here and continue in the next video. So, thank you very much for watching and see you soon.